I'm going to go through this question in, in two ways. The way that I did it was just to try some numbers out at the start and then check later on with multiple choice answers. Works for this competition, not so much for later competitions, either this year or in future years and so on. It is worth trying to learn more general methods. So in that case, I'm going to go through the second method. It's quite nice, worth, worth seeing how you can kind of use uh, the, that general method. Now this question was um, made in 2023 and I'm making the video at that time, but you might be watching in future years potentially. So I've just made a little note that when it says on a birthday this year, we are referring to 2023. Okay, here goes. So first thing I did when I say try numbers out is I just thought, well, what if she was born, say, in 2017? Um, then the sum of the digits in that year are 10. However, to get to 2023, it's only six years, so that doesn't quite work. Um, so maybe she's actually a bit older. Um, so I thought the difference here is four. So what if I make this 2015, subtract two from it to give a sum of eight, and then actually, yes, she's going to be eight years old, which is great. So I've actually figured out just essentially through trial and error, not really trial and error, but you know, trying something out and then refining my guess in a, in a you know, in a, in a good way. Um, trial and improvement, I suppose. So 2015 is when she was born. So in which of these years will her age on her birthday be twice the sum of the digits of that year? So what I then did is I just considered each one in turn. So 2027, um, the digit sum is 11, whereas her age would be 12. So clearly that's not twice 11. So I can, I can rule that one out. Um, and then just carried on this way really so 13 I mean you might be able to you know you can maybe skip some because you can just see it's far too small but I'm just for the purpose of this video I'm going to go through them all so here actually only um seven so that's clearly not going to work that's not much better that's um sorry that wasn't even seven was it that was six Yeah, it's eight and uh, 15, 18. Okay, so it's kind of got to be this last one, 2035. So the digit sum is 10 and her age would be 20. So that one works. Okay, so like I said, it works. It's a solid method for the purpose of this competition, but we want to do a bit better. So hang on and uh, let me explain how you can work through this algebraically. So let's say um, year of birth. Is actually going to be we're told that it's this century, so 20 X Y. Okay, that's in digit form. So therefore age this year. is going to be, well, it's going to be 2023 minus this thing. And because I've got 2023 minus 2000 minus this thing here, it's actually going to be, do you know what? I might write that out. It's going to be 2023. This is in digit form. Okay, now let's write 2023. Then it's going to be minus 2000. And then the X actually represents 10x like if that was a 7 it would be 70 so 10x this is like a little thing that's worth knowing because in some questions you have to start writing things going from digit form to kind of the uh, in powers of 10 and then I'm going to minus y so that's actually going to be 23 minus 10x minus y and then we're told that um her age is actually equal to the sum of the digits of the year that she was born. Born, So it must be that 23 minus 10x, my, I know this is looking more complicated, hey? I feel like that first method was much quicker, but we're talking about, you know, what if the question was loads more complicated or expected you to prove it and so on. Um, that, you know, that's the only year and so on and so, on, so forth. So worth sticking with it, trust me. Um, so that is going to equal the digit sum, which is 2 plus x plus y. Okay, can rearrange this. So it's going to be 11x 
plus 2y is equal to 21. Now remember, x and y are single digits. It can't possibly be that x is 0. It also can't possibly be that x is 2 because it would be too big. They have to be, have to be positive. So x is going to have to equal 1 to give 11. And then y is going to have to equal 5. And we figured out without trial and improvement that her birth date must be 2015. Okay. Now we've got that um, there's the year where age is twice the digit sum of the year. And let's call it 20 p q now so um if we if we work out her age from this remember she was born in 2015 so it's going to be this is now um a bigger number so it's going to be 20 that's going to be 2000 plus 10 p plus q minus 2015 that's actually going to be her age, which is then equal to 10p plus q minus 15. And this is twice the sum of the year. Okay, so it's going to be twice 2 plus p plus q, which is 4 plus 2p plus 2q. Uh, I can rearrange this again, so it's going to be 8p minus q is equal to 19. And again, like p and q must be whole numbers, they're positive whole numbers, they're small numbers. Um, so p can't be 1, that wouldn't work. 2 would be too small. p equals 3. If it was 4, it would also be too big. That would give 24. And then q must equal 5, which gives us through algebra 2035. So I, you know, I was when I saw that solution, I've just uh, basically written it, you know, down myself. Well, that's pretty cool. And, uh, you know, it would work generally, we could very quickly change it to finding um, the year that was three times the sum of the digits, and you wouldn't want to just be doing, you know, trying answers out and so on. So yes, it works well here, this is a much quicker way. But thanks for carrying on watching this whole video. Because like understanding things like this will be beneficial in the long run. Well done.